I'm remembering shift return code. Get answers in the gray box. Python, this is the language I'm learning right now. Google Colab is the library. Then you find network. And then you, when you want the, I forgot what plot link graph is. It's all right, Mom. We're going to start over. Go figure. Go figure. So, you know, in 10 lessons, we're going to build up to this, right? Where what we do is we get code. What? Yes. <laughs> where we get, we get data from online, right? And what we do is uh, then we pull that data somehow into our notebook, right? And then we can somehow also plot this data. So what we're seeing right here is this is how much money uh, we spend on each movie, right? So this is... Could you just focus? 45M means what? Million. 106... Million. Yeah, but I don't know which one is money. 45 million? Yeah, that's how much they spent. And, and this I, one is... How much um, they earned. So Miss Congeniality did quite well. Oh, I see that movie. Okay. Right. So this is, you know, all the movies from our data set over here. Okay. And the way that we built something like this was all using Python. Maybe just a little bit of pandas just to get our data, but we'll talk about that later. Then this is actually the main part of our code right here. And this is all in Python, okay? Uh -huh. And then finally, we plot our data. And we're, what we're able to do is not just like, you know, pull this movie data from the web, but as we'll see, you know, we could kind of, we can even like, if I do, I always love this thing of wiki of the top cities in the US, what we'll be able to do by the end of this is actually go to a site like Wikipedia and somehow use Python to get this data. And we can plot, you know, even this text data that we see. All right. And we'll bring that over. So to me, the reason why I really like teaching this is because this covers a lot of the, the fundamentals in Python and in coding in general. So right here we talk about this is variables. This thing right here is called a list, and here we're working with a list. Right here, we're actually accessing data from something called a dictionary. And here, we're moving through a loop, okay? So this is what we have to learn, right? And this is really like what I would teach, you know, in the fundamentals of Python anyway. But, you know, what's cool is we can do it to actually achieve a pretty useful purpose, which is acquiring data and then displaying that data.